Alright, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great, I'm JimmyGGS91 here and welcome again to my let's play of Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Kong Quest So yeah, after a little absence here on my channel, two weeks or more uh, because of so deserved vacation that I had with my family, yes So finally I'm back, I'm back here and re-energized to continue this let's play I had a great time on, the, on my vacation, so I hope you guys uh, had a great time too while I was off here. Anyway, uh, on the last video of this Let's Play, we finished the second world or the second area of this island, the Crocodile Cauldron. So now we are moving and about to start the third area of this game, that is called Grand Quay. And as you see, let's go inside. This place is mainly formed by broken and sunken ships and uh, swamp areas. So yeah, so let's start with the first level that is called Barrel Bayou. Okay, uh, so let's use this barrel to kill the Nyx, just with a strike move like bowling. Uh, and here's one thing that is new about this level, the spinning barrels that you can control. As you can see, you can control them uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise using your left and right buttons. And also, they, uh, when they, they have a counter and when they reach the zero seconds, they will blast. But you can blast them earlier. We'll see more of these barrels here on this level and more in the game. Okay, let's release Dixie using this poor flutter. And here's an enemy, he's called Cloak. <laughs> so this guy, uh, he's some kind of ghost or spiritual Kremlin, I don't know, but he can fly, he has no legs and no head. Uh, and I guess he's some kind of undead uh, enemy, but I'm not sure. Uh, and funny enough, uh, Cloaks can be killed easily. Uh, with a team throw, with a projectile, even jumping. But jump is kind of high, uh, hard since they fly pretty high. Now here, uh, if you have a Dixie for this part, it's easier because, as you can see, there's a croc head popping up and, si uh, and sinking <laughs> on the water there. If you have a Dixie, you can just fly around to reach this part here where you have Rambi. Rambi is mandatory if you want to get the DK coin here on this level. Yes, you see, cloaks can be killed. Here we have more cloaks laughing us. Let's kill this zinger. Need to scroll. Uh, I want that. Oh, let's use the T throw. Yes. Use Rambi again. This is spinning barrels. At least they are much, much more easier than the ones that keep spinning. Here we have some clubbers. Yeah, these uh, cloaks can throw almost anything. Bananas, zingers, barrels, chests, crates. Okay, mid of the level. Let's hit the zinger. We, here we have a cannon, so, you know, there's a cannonball nearby. <laughs> this is so fun to do. Kill all of these guys so easily. And you see? Let me transform into a DK coin. Now you see there's an arrow of bananas pointing to that side, and that's for a reason. Let's follow this cloak and see which thing he will throw to us. Oh, a chest! Thank you, Mr. Cloak. So let's use this cannonball to go inside the cannon. Pretty, pretty clever uh, uh, way to hide this cannonball. But this bonus room is pretty easy. Just kill all the dudes, all the zingers and flutters. Okay. These barrels are funny too to pass through. That guy is hiding an N. Let's kill him with the chain throw. Jump up their zinger. Yeah, just press to the other side and you'll be blasted to the other side. Interesting move to do. Some clubbers. I want that coin. Go away, Zinger. Now, this guy can give you some trouble. Like that Zinger over there. Not fair. Luckily, I have Dixie for this. Now, this barrel can be kind of tricky to stay on. We got the G, bonus barrel, and cloak too. 
of course, do something bad to us. Find a token! Let's find one. More spinning barrels, but this one is easy. Just be fast enough. And you get the Cran coin. Very easy. Okay, end of the level. Spinning barrel and extra life. And that's it! That was Barrel by you. As you can see, fully completed, so let's go to the second level, Glimmer's Galleon. This level is kinda hard for the first time. Because of this, we are in a sunken ship and there's almost no lights here. So right from the start, go up, and you see this banana trail leading to, yep, a bonus room. Very easy. But since this place is then dark, it's very well hidden. Is one just some kind of a maze? Not exactly a maze, but you must see your path. Uh, because you can't see your path. This thing is kinda hard, but not so bad. But don't worry, we'll get some lights after. You see how. Run off the bundles room, go up, and then pass through this wall here. We have a secret room right here. With some bananas. Loot. But also we have a secret room right here on the top right With the DK coin Yes, this DK coin is one of the most well hidden DK coins on the game Alright, so let's proceed with the level And unfortunately there is no end guard to help us on this adventure On this level at least But we will be good and Here's our light Is this animal buddy here, he's called Glimmer He's only here to light the way and partially, I must see, in a, I think, 60 uh, degrees angle, this light has, I don't know. I think we have some bananas here, yes. Yeah, this level is hard because of this problem here with the lights, but just go careful, and don't rush, and you'll be fine. Of course, we have some tons of enemies, lockjaws, flotsams. And a new type of uh, puff tops. You see that later. Okay, let's pass through here. I'll go down. There's a DK barrel here. If you, if you're not with your uh, partner, and lockjaw. This guy is dangerous. This place here, if you're greedy, is pretty dangerous. <laughs> see. But we'll be okay. Let's get some bananas. And hope to not die. I hate this part. Okay, let's get the O. Keep moving. Two Flotsons. Just to hit you. And here's the new Puff Top. <laughs> it just inflates, blows up, and releases some spines in four directions. Sometimes they were going across, and sometimes not. Okay, let's get the bananas. Uh, I don't want to go to that lockjaw on that side. Oh, beware of the flotsam. Because I'm greedy to get this banana coin. Okay, let's go up and this side. Mid of the level. Whew. Thank goodness. Here we have Dixie again. Oh, also this level has a new type of Shuri. This one that will just try to follow you at one direction. Another puff top. This time he release the spine is in a different pattern than the previous one. Or Shuri's lock jaws. Yeah, this place is a mess in terms of enemies. Since this place is dark. This place is damn dangerous. Some hidden bananas for your happiness. Uh, there's a lockjaw over here, of course. Okay, let's get the bananas. And the N. Uh, more lockjaws. Uh, let's go up. Now we have tons of shuris. But this one in particular is holding something up 
you can go where he was to take two banana coins, yes. Those platform games, they like to punish you because of your greedy. Let's go down over here. Come on, Lockjaw, go to the other side because I'm going to go down and find this bonus room. The second and last of this level is to find the token one. This time it is a maze, but not so bad. Let's go down. And then go up. Continue going up. Uh, left, up. No, left, right, up, and friendly coin. It's not that bad. Okay, so let's go through here. Um, puffed up. <laughs> He's stuck. Yeah. Now oh, this place is dangerous because of two things. Loads of... Come on, puffed up. Just blow up yourself. Okay, let's get the banana coin. This place is almost death because of your greedy again. More puff tops. <laughs> their faces when they are completely inflated, their eyes so. Ugh. I'm inflated. So funny to see. Anyway, that's the end of the second ship. Now, with the launch, let's go straight to the end of the level. And this guy here that is walking here, he's called Spiny. As you can see, he has spines on his back, so... Be careful when you're trying to kill this guy later, because he can only be killed with a uh, attack, not with a jump, or with a projectile, or with an animal buddy. Right, let's go to the Kong College and see our progress. When you see Captain K. Row, can you ask him if he has done his homework? Oh, Miss Wrinkly, what you're asking to me to do? Okay, let's save this thing. So we have 32% done with an hour and three minutes of gameplay, 28 Kren coins and 12 TK coins. Okay, let's leave Miss Wrinkly here. Come back if you got any problems now. I'm sure I got some problems, or I'll get some problems later. Here's Funky's flight, let's skip and uh, yeah, let's visit on them, okay? Just for fancies. Team up, I never heard such rubbish in my life. When I played, I was on my own. I had no fancy backup. Go ahead, test my amazing knowledge. Yeah, Cranky, I know you. You always were the best. You're always complaining about how the games are easy today. And how you're greedy as well. Alright, so let's go to the final level of this video at last. That is called Crockhead Clamber. Now this level is interesting. You see why. As you can hear, there's some bees here on the left side. So let's do something first. Oh, and this guy with the sword, he's called Cutlass. He'll try to chop you with his swords and they'll be stuck on the ground. That's your opportunity to jump over them. Or over him. But don't be fooled because later on we'll find some improved Cutlass. They are uh, faster to recover their swords from the ground. He will have to use the cartwheel jump to pass through. Now here's a difficult section. Have to use a chain throw to be right in the middle of these zingers get access to this chest why? simple because this chest has the DK coin yes, you must have a partner to do this ok, this level I feel more comfortable with Dixie have those big plants here, I don't forget how they are colored from the swamp this is pretty much a jumping level Oh yes, of course I had to do the jump wrong. Okay, we'll recover Dixie. Right here. Come on, kaboing. Just die with the barrel. That jump was kinda scary. Man, this level is scary. Like I said, <laughs> for some reason my jumping button didn't work back there. 
let's do that again. No worries. <laughs> Just got the barrel, kill the cutlass. Okay, and to you, Mr. Kaboing. Get the K. Okay, that's the that was the right way to do this. But this level is fun, at least for me. Because you keep bouncing all of those enemies, the flitters, the kaboings. Man, what what did just happen here? Oh, it was the jumpy button. Yeah folks, the noob is playing. But let's do that again. I promise to myself that I not I will not use save states at least while recording. But to save uh, places between my videos, I would use the save states, but while playing, not. Oh, of course, I had to do that wrong again. Okay, let's do it very slowly, with no rush. Because when you rush, you do a mistake. It's always like that. Okay, I want that O. Okay, here we go. Okay, that flitter. As you can see here, there's some bananas leaning up. Pretty obvious what I have to do. Bananas barrel. With the chief throw. This one is pretty easy. We'll get Squitter to help you. To destroy all of those zingers. And here's the crown coin. That's the only bonus uh, level, or the only bonus barrel of this <coughs> level. Okay, we, here we have to touch this barrel to summon the crockheads from this water. That's kind of cool. I'm greedy, I want that coin. And yeah, this level is one where you can't rush, for sure. Unless you have a lot of practice, or if you are a speedrunner. This level is so difficult. Flitter, Grockhead. Okay. Chief throw for you, buddy. Just like that. Also, you can kill the Clingers, or Clingers, whatever, by jumping over them. What did. What just did I do? <laughs> ah, wrong timing. Oh, man. Thank you, level. Come on, Cutlass. Okay, let's do this the right way. Apparently, I have some problem to jump in all of those things. I don't know why, I think I'm messing up with the controls somehow. Go away, Clinger. Okay. Alright, this one is pretty difficult. Do I have to do this? Zingers on the way! Okay. Uh, I think I could have got the G, but whatever. This level had enough trouble for me. Three or four attempts? Yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video, so I'll end it here. So, when we come back with this let's play, we're about we're going to tackle the fourth level of this area that is Skelet Rattle Battle. I like that name. It's so catchy. It rhymes. Anyway, until Rattle Battle, I'm Jimmy GGS91 and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.